John D. Kelly IV. I uh, was born and raised in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, I have an identical twin brother, younger sister, and uh, been married to the uh, woman of my dreams for almost 33 years and have twin daughters, uh, 28 years old, that are both doing very, very well. But, you know, I, I always grew up with a very service-oriented family. My dad was always doing good things for people and uh, had a tremendous commitment to the poor and uh, the underserved. My mother was very dedicated to her church. She was always just helping people out. And I just felt, felt called to serve. And uh, I, um, I was always playing sports all my life. So it was kind of a natural, natural fit, sports, service, ortho, here we go. I think in part uh, was that uh, there's a lot of confusion I think most practitioners get bombarded with all this e-information and advertising and this product and industry, this, this. And uh, I've been blessed with this outgoing personality. So I've made a lot of great, great friends. And in the process, I've learned so many things that have helped my practice. And I said, you know, it would be great if you get all these wonderful pearls I've learned from all these people that I really respect and put it in a book. Uh, so these are people that I trust that's going to give to the practitioner bona fide, you know, uh, evidence-based and tried and true pearls on how to manage rotator cuff tears. Well, the challenge ending was always like getting everybody, you know, to get their stuff in on time, which is hard because everyone's so busy. The most interesting thing was uh, just when I thought I knew a certain subject, as I edited the chapter, like, hmm, I guess I need to, you know, brush up on this. So it was a very, very enriching educational experience for me. I learned so much. And, and again, these are things that I, that I felt had worked for me and that the, the practitioner out in the middle of nowhere that does shoulder arthroscopy would gain the most from. Tried and true techniques, from thought leaders, uh, and most of the stuff that they've written about, I've tried myself and has worked wonderfully. I think anyone who endeavors to take care of rotator cuff tears, which are a fact of life. You know, we know the literature, maybe 20% of people over age 60 uh, have a cuff tear, and uh, many of them do come to surgery. Um, and I'm, I'm very biased in that the arthroscopic approach in my hands is usually the preferred approach, so and it hurts a lot less. And you can do a great open repair, but for those uh, uh, of us that wish to do uh, mostly arthroscopic repair, uh, this book is just filled with all kinds of, of pearls on diagnosis, management, biologics. Uh, there's particularly one chapter by uh, um, a fellow from Wisconsin uh, who's a, just a wonderful, wonderful um, arthroscopist, Bill Pennington, who does more super capsule reconstructions than anybody in the world. I said, I got to get this guy on paper. Just to, He sent me his technique years ago, and I've used it. I said, this is going to help a lot of people because uh, it just translates something that was initially perceived as very difficult to more manageable, user-friendly technique. So the short answer is anyone who wants to take care of rotator cuff tears, uh, and particularly with the arthroscope, this book is going to help them. Well, you know, I uh, the hobby is, well, we were blessed, uh, my uh, one daughter, Anne-Marie, is a medical student, so she was quarantined from med school. She stayed with us, and she was a track uh, star. So I took up running again. I had a little arthritis of the hip and knees, and I said, you know, if I went slowly with her and took my Advil. Um, so I've actually gone back to slow running and lost a couple pounds, which is always good for the health and blood sugar. And um, the books that I've read, I uh, just, uh, I love history. Uh, I read a book on leadership, um, uh, and I'm reading a book now on grit, which I find to be very, very helpful success. So just out of the box stuff, I didn't have time to read. I'm really catching up on some of the classics, particularly history. That's why it's one of my real passions. Trying to resurrect my comedy career, which was on life support because of the pandemic. So I'm hopeful that I'll get reinvigorated because I really miss doing that too. 